day by day, is the shizzle. What it do, what it is, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today I am joined by Buffalo's own Keon, a.k.a. Champagne Kilo. What it do, bro? (laughs) What's good, man? What's good? What's good? Ain't nothing, man. I can't call it. You're actually the second person. You're the second Buffalo native I've had on Day by Day. By the way. Yes, sir. I'm originally from Niagara Falls, New York, which is, you know, about 20 minutes from Buffalo, which is basically the main city of the 716. But, Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm right outside of Buffalo. Yeah, it's like right there. right there. It's it's (laughs) kind of like, you know, Maryland saying DMV type thing. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Exactly, exactly. We we understand. But, um, nah, like I, I, you know, kind of said with him, and just to reiterate, Buffalo's on the map today. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? In today's yeah. age and whatnot. Like, for real. Yeah. And it's a nice city. Like, I took a trip there. <laughs> it's it's actually, I mean, Niagara Falls, too. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. And, you know, I'm just happy right now, man. A lot of people are getting to see, you know, the flowers that's coming from the city, you mm-hmm. know, with the rappers and, mm-hmm. you know, Benny the Butcher, Conway, and, and the Bills, man. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Bills is yeah. doing their thing. So I'm happy, you know. Rep my city hard, man. I love my city, you know. They definitely doing their things yeah, in more, in more yeah, way than one. Yeah, definitely doing a lot right now, man. So city, the city up. Mm-hmm. And this, so when I went there, I got like a, a Pittsburgh type of feel. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not a huge city, but I mean, it... It definitely, you know, what I'm saying it. It's, it's, it has its own feel to it. It's it's cold. It's, cold it's, it's, it's gritty, man. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's real like nine to f- nine to five. It's just real hard working. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the city hard working, man. You, you you barely gonna find somebody who's just you know. That's why we love sports so hard, and we, we mm-hmm. love you know just the people who come out because it's such a small city. And you, yeah. You, you, when you think of Buffalo, and even when you think of Niagara Falls, a lot of people are oh, you from Niagara Falls, Canada. Now nah, I'm from Niagara Falls, New, New York. York. Like right. so, it's like yeah. You know, like you said, man, it give you a Pittsburgh feel, you know, tough, hard-nosed city, man, mm-hmm. just from whenever, from the sports to the rappers to the mm-hmm. people, everything is, you know. And it seems like with football especially, small, gritty, like, towns or cities go mm-hmm. crazy for their sports. It's like that with the Packers. Mm-hmm. Green Bay, Wisconsin is... I mean, I've never. If, if it wasn't for the Packers, no one would have uh, yeah. heard of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Exactly. But yet, their their fan base is top three easily in the league. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I myself want to go. Like, it's on my bucket yeah. list to go to a football game at Lambeau Field. <sighs> but the small cities, it seems like you know, what I'm saying it's a small city. It's a gritty that to themselves, but they're hard working. They bring their lunch pail every day <laughs> with them. Those are the cities that go hardest. For their football teams, man. I'm starting to realize now. Because honestly, man, that's all they that's all we got. Mm, you know, you yeah. feel me? So it's like we don't got a basketball team. You yeah. know what I mean? For the black people, we don't we got hockey, but I don't you yeah, know what I mean yeah. too much about it. But man, I, since I was little, man, the Bills have been bad. You know, we went to yeah. the four Super Bowls, Bills have been <sighs> bad. But since I could remember, they sell out every game. Mm. It doesn't matter if they're 0 and ten, it doesn't matter if they're 0 and seventeen. You go to Bill Stadium on a Sunday, mm-hmm. it's tailgates and it's sold out. It's and Bill's not, Mafia Bill's is Liddy. Mafia is, Liddy. is up right now. Liddy. And it's like, you know what I mean? The, the city is hype. We finally got a quarterback. We ain't had a quarterback since Jim yeah, Kelly. That, that was, was 90, 90 to 85, yeah. 84 yeah. To, the, to the mid to the mid early 90s. And, mm-hmm. you know, man, that's that's just – that's all we have is, is the Bills. If you even go to the stadium, it's – a stadium in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's no what it looks city. like. Yeah, it's just when you're driving past, you just see the stadium. Yeah, and it's, it's like, like damn, okay, damn, what's kind this? Of it. Yeah. All right, so I got to ask you this. You being a Buffalo native, mm-hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, in that area in general, best Buffalo wing spot? <sighs> best bu- – see, I'm going to be real, man. Like I said, I like Duff's. It's Duff's Buffalo Wings. You mm-hmm. know, that's kind of the tourist place. Mm-hmm. But if I'm going to go to the crib, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to Frenchie's, Frankie's. You know, I'm gonna go to 
to where I'm from. You these know? are gems. These yeah, are sure. these are like family owned restaurants yeah. that my peoples know they peoples mm -hmm. and like oh yeah I'm going to Georgia's pizza to get the best wings. And I'm gonna go out there on the limb, man. I think we got the best pizza in New York and wings. I mean, I, I'm talking about not just upstate. I'm talking about yeah, the whole, in the whole state. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Since you said state, that, man. you know the best pizza I've ever had in my life. What? And I, I said this before. For many years, like I've I've been going to New York at least once or twice a year since uh -huh. I was about 11. And um, the first place is one of the first places I went to in New York was Dykeman. Mm. And that pizza spot on Dykeman with the green roof. Unbelievable, right? Mm -hmm. When I took my trip to Buffalo, I went to Toronto. Best pizza I've ever had in my life was out of Toronto. Man, listen, it's and that's the thing. Like you would people be like, New York City, New York City, the pizza. Like, yeah, but man, we got our own little, and that's why I love the city so much because we got our own little swag. Mm -hmm. Like we got our own little swag. Yeah. We got our own little food, just yeah. clothes or whatever. But the man, food is definitely on point. The food. And when I came out here, you know, what I mean, Charlotte, I'm like. Pizza, like let's go get some pizza. Like, let's go to Papa John's. Papa John's. Uh, no, we man. don't get no like Papa John's and pizza. Don't get no burn where I'm from. Yeah. Like, you going to George's, Frankie's, yeah. Frenchies, late night spots. Like I think one of those. I actually, <clears throat> my man's Bashar. He was the one that's uh, was on here last time from Buffalo. Mm -hmm. I think he said one. Of, I think he said Frankie's. Man, because he said like a you know like a um, it's like a mom and pop. Yeah, small spot, yeah. Man. Which yeah. is usually I mean more times than not the best pizza oven. I went to so when I went to Buffalo, I had wings from a spot. I think it was something real. It had motorcycles hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Nah. Okay, so it must and that's be the thing. So like, it's the way it's set up. Like, I know a couple of spots like Shy's. You got uh, Duff Swings out there, but it's like I'm gonna be real. Like, and I, I could be being biased. I ain't never really had no bad wings in the city. Like mm -hmm. in Buffalo, I go Buffalo is you go anywhere. But yeah, back at home, I feel like we got the best. And maybe it's because I didn't had it since I was little. Mm -hmm. But man, you go to a spot at the crib, it's it's on. It's on, man. It's like, hard to miss. <laughs> hard to miss. So I ask, I gotta ask you this as well. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Conway and Benny, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta ask you, Griselda to me is the most evenly three membered group, maybe of all time in the rap game. Because yeah. I mean, Run DMC, it was Run. Migos is you know kind of you know Quavo's like the, in a way, the leader, even though the best spitter maybe take off or whatnot. But with, with, with Griselda, I think it's just evenly just 33.333% for each one of them. So I got to ask you, favorite Griselda member? Man. I don't know. I don't and, know. and honestly, <clears throat> I really, it's hard, man. I know it, it just is. depends. It's really, it's kind of like my mood. The mood. Ah, yeah, it's kind of like mood. my mood. Yeah, it's kind of like how I'm feeling on the day. That truly displays how yeah, great they are. Yeah, man, yeah. It's, like, it's, so when I first started listening to the Griselda, it was Benny. Because Benny is just raw. raw bars, man. bars. And then it shifted to Conway because I just got in that mood where, you know, I want to, bars are cool, but I want to hear some more lyricist man, type shit. Yeah, Conway is. Yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards Conway, man. It's Benny, Benny didn't have it though. A lot of people yeah. don't, like, may know or may not know. These these dudes been out since I was in high school. I graduated in thirteen, mm -hmm. and you know they just had to wait their time. So right. I'm so used to hearing, you know, <clears throat> the older stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but if I gotta go in a direction, man, if I gotta wake up and put on some music and let's go get it, I gotta put on Conway. Conway different. Yeah, I gotta put on Conway, man. Conway, my guy. So I looked at the um, you know that Apple thing online where you enter your login and it shows you who you've been listening to the most. So. It's kind of all in the same circle. It's like my top five is either Alchemist or Danger produ Production, mm -hmm. Benny, um, Freddie Gibbs, Conway, or um, Westside. That's like the top yeah, Westside, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Westside was at the top. And I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Because I be so on the edge, but on the fence between Benny and Conway. Mm -hmm. West, I can listen to West on any mood I feel. Yeah, because he can give you a laid back type joint. He yeah. can give you a joint with a chick with him and the uh, girl. Um, what's her name? Amani Caesar. Amani Caesar. Yeah, yeah. Or he can give you some. West got bars too. Mm -hmm. I would like now the it mood changed. Last time when I was with my man, I said Conway. Now I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying yeah. I, I say West. Yeah, and it, and and I'm just man, I'm so happy for for them because like I said, they older, and I'm just so happy they finally get they getting the flowers that mm -hmm. they deserve, man. Yeah. Because what they doing, they they've been doing. You yeah. know, it's just like I said, everybody got to wait their turn. But mm -hmm. boy, 
they stay yeah, I mean, down. Everybody come like, oh, these from the crib, man. These niggas been doing this since mm -hmm. thirteen, yeah. like before that. Yeah, that's what I mean? my man's told me. <clears throat> All right, so Champagne Kilo, mm -hmm. nickname rightfully so, because you was in uh, Cancun this past yeah, weekend for man. your B day. Happy B day again. Twenty six, man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Honestly, man, I'm just you know, you just yeah, you just reflect. You know, you just yeah. kind of reflect on everything you kind of been through. Me personally, just everything I've been through, and where I, I can see myself going. And I just thank God. So mm -hmm. I just you know, I celebrate. But man, I'm, I'm I'm humble about everything I do and everything I got. You know, it's it's like <clears throat> this age, like twenty, I say like twenty five and up, maybe twenty four, but really like twenty five and up. I think twenty five anyway is when your um, decision making part of your brain is fully developed anyway. Mm -hmm. So twenty five, like you said, you reflect more and you're just so much more appreciative, and you really make decisions based off of the next five, ten, fifteen years. I'm now you're not you, just living yeah. in the moment as much. Yeah, and and. Just to piggyback off that, just the development of the brain, man, I always kind of been like the type of dude that was like, man, I gotta do more, like I gotta mm -hmm. get more, like you know, like mm -hmm. so, especially when you come from nothing, like you know what I mean. So you kind of like, man, I can't go back to that, mm -hmm. you know, I can't go do yeah. that again. Yeah. And now that I'm like where I didn't came from and where I'm at now, I'm like, damn, I'm like yeah. you know what I mean? That's yeah, crazy. Bro. Just yeah. to look back and reflect on. <sighs> Who you where, telling? where I'm at and where I'm going. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, 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 stone, the, you know, the stepping stones and the path that, that God has put me in, man, mm -hmm. I'm blessed. You know what I mean? I feel you 100%, Brody. 100%. Yeah, measures. Um, so, how was the trip in Cancun? <laughs> it, was crazy, it was crazy, man. Crazy. You know, it was real nice. It was, it was, I, that was my first big trip out the country. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I, I'm from Niagara Falls, so I've been in Toronto, I've been in Niagara Falls, Canada. But that's my first destination birthday, man. And it was, it was nice. You know, I went with my line brother, my LB. And we just had a ball, man. We was just out there kicking it, drinking, chilling. Was it yeah. fully open, like everything it, out there? You know what's so crazy? It wasn't. So my birthday was the week before they opened fully. This week they opened fully, which is July, July 4th weekend. Ooh, so we was going yeah. to the club, man. It's, yeah. it's ending at 11 o'clock. You know what I mean? So we like, hey, what's yeah. after that? But nah, they still on COVID restrictions. And when, yeah. they, when I say restrictions, I mean, you know, we almost got cussed out a couple of times by you know the, the people, the staff, because we ain't have our mask on. You know, here it's kind of like we open now. Yeah. If you got the vaccination, you don't even need the mask. But right. there, man, you need it wherever you go, whatever you do, I need the mask. Mm -hmm. But all in all, man, it was fun. You know, I did a lot of things. I jumped off a cliff, which I thought I'd never do, into some, into some water. We ATV, we Living drunk. life. Yeah, you know I mean, that's but what it's about. What's so crazy, man? I was in Mexico and ain't had no good tacos. Really? Well, see, I don't know about t I don't know about Man. Cancun, yeah. but Tijuana, yeah, tacos are different. <laughs> I've been to Tijuana before, and it was by. I'm a big breakfast dude. Not as much now. Now I'll just do fruit and water and yeah, yeah. for breakfast. But growing up, I've always loved breakfast. Love eggs. I just loved everything about breakfast. Best breakfast I ever had, which is saying a lot from a breakfast lover, uh, was in Tijuana. Where? And it it was like a. Uh, it was eggs, some type of hash brown, some type of uh, tortilla. I don't even know. It was it was kind of basic, but everything just tasted amazing. And the orange juice. <sighs> nah, that's and that's probably the and just to go off that man. The orange juice was the best thing I yeah. had out there. I, yeah. I and honestly, I don't even really know if I'm gonna do all inclusive again because it's like the food. Maybe it could it could have been the, the resort I was at, mm. but the food I had. I had food like good food like one good night like the breakfast really? and it was like kind of like uh, that's surprising to hear yeah probably like I said I don't want to go off too much off of it. Right. it was my first resort out the country so it could have been like uh, right but yeah man I was like Shh. nah that that can't yeah. that can't be the representative of Cancun uh, yeah, food not, man. you know what I mean it can't be it can't be um yeah like I said I've never been to Cancun I was going I was supposed nice. to go November of 2020 it's nice for my cousin's wedding but of course you know COVID had other plans mm -hmm. Um, I've only been to Tijuana, which is like, uh, <laughs> it's like the, uh, if you could picture a ratchet side of Mexico, but not like the crazy Mexico city part, mm -hmm. then it's Tijuana. Facts, 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 facts. Like me and my cousin, we was at like a flea market and there was this guy with a picture of this woman who was about 400 pounds. And we was like 11 at the time. And he was saying, uh, cooch, cooch, this is my sister. You want to fuck my sister? <laughs> 
It, 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 at a flea market, it was lit. Nah, man, that's how and that's how it is too, man. You go yeah. out there, they just walking around, yeah, just trying to pay. You want to do this? I yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's still yeah. So, do you consider yourself a foodie? Hell yeah! Good. Like that's like that man. I I'm not a picky dude. And what's so crazy about that? Like I'm a foodie. Like candy and stuff. I don't really do candy and mm. sweets. But a meal? We grown men. We want meals, man. Yeah, when we was kids and teenagers, yeah, yes, candy yeah, was candy. that shit. But now we grown but men. Food. We know yeah, the like, we know the. You know what I'm saying what comes with a home cooked meal or a nice meal from a. Of uh, not McDonald's, but a nice nah, restaurant. Yeah. We know what comes with. We nah, all yeah, 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 yeah. That's a whole fact. I found um, I found a few food spots in Charlotte. I found my. We were talking about pizza. How you said like mm. you know I hear people say Papa John's. It's an Italian spot a mile away from here. Mm. That's my. I found my pizza spot like official pizza spot. I got one for you though. I got one. Like I said, we gonna have to do it. But mm-hmm. it's called and they from the crib. They from Buffalo. It's a Buffalo owned pizza spot. It's really? two of them. It's one called Basante. And um, oh man, taste of buffalo. Oh yeah, you got to yeah. be him, man. Oh, yeah. That's a bet. That's a bet, man. That's a bet. Mm-hmm. So now that we talking about pizza spots, I mentioned Italian. I also found my um Caribbean spot. So mm-hmm. I got my Caribbean and Italian spot on lock. I want to do something. I want to talk about what makes a certain food spot good mm-hmm. by different nationalities. So I want to talk about what makes an Italian food spot good. Official, what makes a Chinese food spot good, what makes a Caribbean, Jamaican food spot good, and what makes a, a soul food spot good. Like, what are the signs when you walk into these restaurants that let you know, okay, this is the real deal? <laughs> right? So let's talk, let's start with Italian. What makes the Italian spot good? Honestly, man, every good Italian spot I've been to been real small. Small. Like Absolutely. small, like mom I think they like pop, it small. Like small, mom pop, and it's like they always busy. You know the, I mean? the brick oven is key. Yeah, I'd be the damned if oven. I walk into an Italian spot with no brick oven. And brick I'm turning oven. around. Yeah, and it's. I mean, of course, it's official. T- Italians work there. Yeah, like official. I yeah, mean, I'm like not going there and the Chinese person is like. Then we're then we're mean? gone. Nah, then we we're gone. Are. And they and it, it's it kind of gives you like, <laughs> I, I hate to use this because it ended a bad way, but do the right mm-hmm. thing. Like, it. I'm not saying it's it's a racist feel at all nah. because the one up here is cool as hell, yeah. but they call you brother. I'm not saying they're saying brother as in like my black brother. No, but they just that that's just how uh, when you when you walk into an official Italian spot and they yeah. say what you want, my brother, yeah, then nah, that's kind of like raise a red flag. Like at least you trying to adapt to them. You ain't trying. I'm trying to come get what y'all got. But all the good ones rock like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean every but see that's the crazy. That's why I'm laying this out. Every good food spot has a red flag. That's the whole kill. <laughs> that's the whole I guess, yeah, I guess it got him, man. I guess and one one of the biggest things I do, I got I'm looking at as soon as I walk out, I'm looking at everybody plate. What you what that mm-hmm. like? what the, and, and also you gotta pay attention to the people that's work, the people that's eating there. If you go into an Italian spot and it's Italians there, oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, getting that's a, probably the number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that the thing. first thing. All yeah. right. So we got Italian out the way. Let's go to Chinese. What makes a good Chinese? Chinese carry out spot on point. Man, I don't even know how to say this without Please, saying it. It got it kinda gotta look a little dirty now. Little, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean not like this. You're not saying no dirty, roaches, but, but it's, it, it, like, it can't look I mean? spick and span. Yeah, it can't look spick and span. To go with that, what makes a Chinese spot official? The, the the menu pictures. Mm-hmm. The menu pictures yep. have to look like the old Instagram filters. Yes, sir. If not, get out. If yep. it's like clean, if it's HD yep. photos, yep. get out. And if, get they, the and, and if if one of the pictures not missing, oh yeah, one mean, of the pictures got to be missing. And then missing. one of the pictures, the half, the bottom half is like cut out, or it's a strip in the middle that's cut <laughs> and out. And if the kid, the, if the little kids ain't working, taking the order, we ain't, I ain't got nothing to talk. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We got nothing. Stay to talk. there, Desi. Stay there. The kids gotta be in there. Hey, if you go to a Chinese spot, Chinese carry out spot, and the little kids aren't there all day yeah. every day, and they grow up in that joint. I mean, it's toys yeah. everywhere, and they don't then leave. But see, that's crazy. But that's but see, that's generation wealth is mm-hmm. what we won't even peak because yeah. those kids are being raised how to run the business. Yeah. My yeah. favorite, uh, uh, my favorite Chinese spot back home. Shout out goodies. Um, I've been going there for probably like six, seven years, and I watched the kids grow up. Mm-hmm. Now, when I go there, they're behind the, behind the counter. They're the ones answering the phone. So yeah, I'm glad you said that. So That's yeah, Chinese fact. spot. It got to be a little rugged. The pictures got to look like old Instagram filters. One missing, <laughs> one with that bottom half cut out, and the kids got to be there all day, every day, That's growing fact, up inside man. the you restaurant. Ain't never lied about that. If not, leave. <laughs> all right. Now we're on to uh, one of my favorites. What makes a Caribbean spot good? They gotta have an attitude. <laughs> 
<laughs> they got to have an attitude and they got to charge for exercise. You know how I found, you know how I knew that I found my Caribbean spot out here? I walked in, I'm in line, and the dude behind the counter was ready to fight one of the customers. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm home. I'm oh, home, yeah. I'm home. It got, and this that's is just, it. that's just, they, I guess that's just they, they, how they, you know what I mean? Yeah. How they is. Yeah, hey, listen, tough love. Gotta have attitude. Tough love. Gotta uh, charge with any any and everything. Man, extra. the price went up crazy <laughs> on the oxtail. Oxtail, oh yeah. And I only went within, a, it was only like a week separating when I went. Next time I went, I'm like, oh, bro. It's like the oxtail is, is 24 an hour. I'm like, damn, fooly, it was just 18. <laughs> Where, it, it, you know what I mean? And they don't even like, they mess around, switch up the price. You come, like you say, you come one week is is twenty. You gotta switch up twenty four. Mm-hmm. Come during lunch is fifteen. Oh yeah. Man. Also, they gotta have they they gotta be out of something. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. They or something, or you gotta have a five ten minute wait. Yep. Mac and cheese five yep. ten minutes. Yep. Yeah. Last time I went, they had no plantains. Oh yeah. Sorry. I'm like, okay, I'm home. I, be thinking, I ain't even mad. And it's so crazy because I don't even be thinking everybody be having these experiences, but it's so crazy that you say that, man. But Yeah, yeah this is real. Busting, this, boy. This, like, is this is real. This is, like you said, every good food spot has to have red. some type of red flag. It has to. Nah, we don't. Real. We don't want... We don't. If it's perfect, it's not for us. Nah, we, we, ain't, yeah. we wasn't raised perfect. Nah, we ain't grow up perfect. So we need something that resembles us. We need something with attitude. That nah, resembles... No. Our grandmother, or grandfather, or, mm-hmm. or that family member that had attitude. We need the kids around there. That's that one cousin or auntie house who well, had all the kids there, over there. All the kids, you know what I'm saying? Grandma house, all the kids. Those red yeah. flags resemble us. Yeah, yeah. All right. Last but not least, soul food. You know, it's crazy. This one was a little bit more difficult. It is. It don't have as many red flags as, as you know. What I'm it saying is. the other spots. But soul food. Um, Bad portions, man. Oh. <laughs> Bad portions, but good food. Yeah, you go. You know what I mean? You, you, you might get a little scoop of yams. I'm like, man. Nah, yeah, but it be busting. Like it be busting. Like the they kind of like be on their little Chipotle time. Like yeah, they kind of like, yeah, boop, yeah. Boop. like mm-hmm. they just in and out. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I mean, they ain't ready to give you too much. The biggest portion you might get is the choice of meat you get. If it mm-hmm. better be chicken ribs or whatever. And um, <laughs> one of the employees there got to have some hang time. Yeah. And what I mean by that is on the arm. <laughs> that arm, with the, it needs some hang. The cook, if it's a woman yep. cooking, especially, I need some. I need to see some hang time. That oh, yeah. lets me know it's real. For real. That lets me know that you know what I'm saying that 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 sugar and cholesterol is building up. This is awful, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's. Real. But they gonna charge. They gonna charge for extras too. You know, oh, they, yeah. you ain't getting enough. You're not. Yeah. You ain't getting enough free from them. Yeah. And the line gotta be long. The line gotta be long. And so it gotta be a spot. long wait for the food. Uh huh. And oh, it, right. it gotta have some. Yeah. It gotta have some people in line. Yeah. That has attitudes. Yeah, and somebody got to be outside. Yeah, if, if it ain't if it ain't a couple crackheads outside, I definitely don't. Want don't it. want it. If I don't can't go, it. if I got to go in there and ain't nobody asking me for no change to bring them out a, a mm-hmm. fish sandwich, yeah. I don't nah, know. Nah, nah, nah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right, right. Nope, nope. <laughs> and then and then last but least, I think give you the itis. If you don't catch the itis, if I don't catch the itis off the, yeah, you know what I'm saying, then nah, yeah, we, nah it's we it's not a good we soul ain't food coming spot. back. Nope. <clears throat> All right, so you also being from the state of New York, mm-hmm. I gotta ask you this. I'm gonna see something. Give me your top three. Matter of fact, give me your top two favorite rappers from the from from New York. Can be from New York. Can be from uh, Wyoming. Can okay. be from Idaho. <clears throat> your top two favorite rappers all time or right now. Let's go with alive. Alive. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go with alive. Let's go top three favorite rappers. Top alive. three or top two. Top, top three. Top oh three. man. Favorite so, rappers alive. Oh, Jay Z, Hove, um, Fab, the family, and right now my man who I've been rocking with since ninth grade, Meek Mill. Meek, yeah, Meek Mill. It's not oh, even man. a question. Yeah, Meek Mill. I respect that, Brody. Meek Mill. And, and and it's kind of a toss up though because you know I really it, if I can do three with with the third being one A one B is Meek and Drake. Meek and Drake. It's Meek and Drake. How ironic, right? Yeah. How but they ironic. squashed it. So yeah, it's squashed. <laughs> it's, it's, squashed. it's cool now. But um, let, let's start. Let's start with something. Since you said Meek and Jay, I want to start with some uh, some questionable slander. Mm-hmm. Let's start with Meek first, right? I, I fuck with Meek heavy too. Mm-hmm. Like everyone, you know what I'm saying? I've been so I've I've rocked with Meek heavy. You said ninth grade. We graduated the same year. It was yeah, about 13, the same. Flamers. Yeah. First time. I, yeah. Flamers. First time I heard Rose Red. I'm like, hold up. Who is this? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I would say that. But Mm -hmm. Meek, so with Meek, man, Meek is, 
truly a, I'm so glad he did wins and losses because that's truly him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just, like, it, I'm a big Meek fan, so I didn't watch the interviews with uh, Charlamagne the God. He, a lot of stuff he was telling me was, it, while I was watching the interview, he was basically just talking about a word of, like, you know, with the slander and everybody, like, well, I don't like Meek Mill. Everybody can't really relate to Meek Mill. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So Absolutely everybody not, not going to be able to understand his struggle, his pain, and what he talking about in his mm -hmm. raps. Yeah. They just look at what the media say. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he's not a media. He's not a media dude. Type guy. So it's like, you're not going to, especially with these new generations and yeah. this, the, 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 the social media, how it's portrayed, it's going to look bad. Yeah. But, <clears throat> you know, he didn't say it. He came out of the limb it, it, with the Drake beef. They, he like, they like, yo, so. Charlamagne got like, yo, so what's up? What happened? He like, honestly, I don't, I don't know. Even know. <laughs> I, like, I was off at that was time. I one. was off the, the perks. Yeah, you know what I mean? I was off the perks. And I, he said, I couldn't even tell you why I tried to diss him. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, he wasn't, you know what I mean? Drake, Drake wasn't holding it down when he was in jail, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Meek just. Him, he just raw. Yeah, he just yeah, pure. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, yeah. It's like I, only per, another person I can think of that's kind of like that is like Kodak or NBA. Kodak, yeah. They they just, just they them. just react. They yeah, don't really they think don't about really, them. They just yeah, react. I mean, that's just them. You know what I'm saying? And they and they project babies. Like exactly. They ain't, they ain't, like I said, they ain't, they didn't reach the media until they were grown oh, men who's man. been raised all their lives yeah. by the project. And he so been by in then the system, like, and people don't yeah. understand. Meek got famous and was on probation. Meek mm -hmm. just got off probation. Yeah. You know what I mean? So imagine being rich, having it all, and still got to go back to Philly. Or everything you do, mm. I gotta get signed yeah, by somebody who's just trying to who, who's just trying to put me under, who's yeah. trying to put me over. Anything I do, that man got arrested for popping a willy in the street. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Come on, man, you was crazy. jail. Like system messed up by a black lady. Yeah. Oh yeah, he and he let it be known on his come tracks, on, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, so another person slant, maybe a definitely a more questionable slander that's been happening recently. I I would say like more so with. Some millennials in all the generations he is is Jigga slander, whole slander. Man. I don't understand it. <clears throat> it's impossible to slander the man though. I don't in understand. My, it. In my opinion, he didn't did it. He, what, what you gonna slander him about? I don't understand I it. Mean, well, the thing is, so people now are like, and and and, and it's hurt. It's hurtful to see some millennials that speak like this, are saying like, y'all really hop in a car and throw on hove? Yes. What the fuck are we talking? This is. J Jay Z they wasn't raised right. Man. That's exactly what I said. I said, you know what? I'm not even mad at y'all. I'm at, I'm I blame y'all parents for not raising y'all yeah, right. If you ever got into a car between the years of '95 oh, and, and 2011, 12, and you ain't hear a blueprint or or you ain't hear Hove once, or even on the radio, right? It's not wrong. Yeah, you know Which what is I mean? especially if you was, you know what I mean, everybody. I didn't even, I didn't have a father in my life, but if you had a male in your life. That didn't listen to Jay Z. Yeah, that's a problem. It's crazy. Like it's that's crazy. you know what I mean. And then in a way that like my favorite, my three of my favorite rappers is Jay Z, Jeezy, mm -hmm. and Gotti. Of course, yeah. That's because they all hustlers, and yeah. they I ain't grow up with my father neither. But I say that because I kind of felt like they raised me in a way. Mm -hmm. These were hustlers. These was real niggas. And they telling you everything you really need to know. That laid it out in their music. Mm -hmm. So you could skip going through the life lesson in person. You get in the, mm -hmm. all right, you go through the, you can skip the mistake part of doing it in person. Here the game is right here, mm -hmm. shorty. You know what I'm saying? And then just what he doing now. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's kind of just. So we, we don't understand this whole slander. And like I said, it, I've always oh. said the cutoff is 95. Yeah. I think people that were born after 95 talk this blasphemous, <sighs> horrendous. Slander. That's who it really comes and from. And you know, a lot of people, and I don't even want to really put them on the spot, man, but a lot of females is, is kind of cut older. Oh, Jay, how do you cheat on Beyonce? But that's a different topic for a different day. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, a, that's a different topic for a different day. Yeah. We're going to get into that. But yeah, it's a it, is, it is. It is. But yo, I was, it's crazy. I, um, I like this, uh, like came across this one girl on IG who had um, a quote from You Don't Know. Mm. Uh, put me anywhere on God's green earth, I'll triple my worth. That's one of my favorite bars ever, and it was in her joint. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Shorty, that's mad impressive." Like seriously, for one, not too many people in general. You know what I'm saying millennials up on hold, but you a female and you from the south, and yeah, you are, yeah. But, and that's the thing, and what hold make you think, mm -hmm. like, hold on, what? Mm -hmm. Running back, what? Mm -hmm. And the only person I can really, you know. I want to say only person, but 
the person who kind of give me that, I won't even too too much say the the the, the older hoe, the street hoe. You know what I mean? But the uh, talk to you type person mm -hmm. is Drizzy. Yeah. Like it's just the talent level is yeah. insane. Like you know what I mean? It's unbelievable. And I'm not saying, like I said, his talent. I feel like they're they're kind of two different. We are two different rappers, but I'm talking about his. I guess his persona. Yeah, I mean, cause they yeah the persona and just they're the true icons. Yeah, in the rap game, like after generation. Hove, like everyone says. I mean, I believe too. Hove passed the Drake. I mean, passed the torch to Drake. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can say so Wayne. We skip over Wayne. Yeah, I was gonna say okay. you can say Wayne too. Okay, we're we're here with yeah, that. You can say Wayne that. too. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. would say it went from Jay. To Wayne, to Drizzy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? As far as the true rap icons, you know what I'm saying? Which is probably, again, why, you know, but I, man, like I said, we, it goes down to how people were raised. I remember being mm -hmm. four. And see, my mom had me at 18. Uh -huh. So when I was four and five, when I can really, that's when my memories go back to four and five, mm -hmm. you got to think, she's 22, 23. Exactly. So us at 22, 23, we listen, we listen to the prime to. time shit. So of course I could... I'm in the car every time. Mm -hmm. Old ass red. I think it was a Honda Accord. Old <laughs> joint. When you close the door and the seatbelt go, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's man. Like... <laughs> I remember bumping that whole whole yeah. Rough Riders. You know what I'm saying? All the that locks. shit, man. Yeah, locks. I, man, that's how niggas Good came day, up. We it? came up yeah. right. Nas, all that. Yeah, man. <clears throat> all right. So let me ask you this. You had Hove and you had Fab in your top mm -hmm. uh, top three list, which are two of the greatest New York rappers of all time, really, mm -hmm. if we're being honest. Let me ask you this. Starting with Hove. Favorite Hove album. Mm. What you want me to do? I'm sorry. Man. It gotta be Blueprint 1 or 2. Blueprint 1 or 2. Um, it's it's so hard though because I didn't I, I, his elevation from street rap to commercial stuff to just pure mm. poet. And it was evident in every album. Yeah, in every album. Like, and then to have your masters is just mm -hmm. like a whole different. <laughs> yeah. Who got, I think Mike, only Mike and Prince got their masters. Yeah. And Jehovah. But, and yeah, Blueprint one or two. But it, it's a whole, with me, like you said, since we are in a new age, it's really kind of how I'm feeling. If I wake mm -hmm. up in the morning and I'm just like, man, I just need some motivation. Mm -hmm. Blueprints, any Blueprint, honestly, mm -hmm. one, two, three. Mm hmm. Shit, mine. I, I agree. Mine is shit. It's right down the wall. I know the lights anyway. If you can see it, that's the vinyl mm -hmm. blueprint. Yeah, blueprint is that's my favorite is. favorite J album of yeah. all time. All time. It's, it's true. Like you said, that's inspirational and motivational. Ageless. Yeah. Um. And then I also have like I have a category of my favorite workout albums, mm -hmm. and my favorite workout album by Hove is the Black album. <laughs> like. Yeah, Dirt yeah. Off Your Shoulders, 99 Problems, mm -hmm. Encore. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, Black Album, Working Out too. Mm -hmm. Black Album and Victory Lap are my favorite Victory workout Lap. albums. I like, I like American Gangster too. Yeah, yeah. American Gangster was nice. Gangster. Yeah. I ain't really never put out a bad project to me, though. I don't yeah, feel it. like, you know. Yeah, it. A lot of people would say uh, 444. Yeah, but, but that I mean, was kind of like it wasn't the same passion. Yeah, it that wasn't, he had you know what I mean? I'm already because he retired and he was just kind of kicked back and said, he "Let me just." Get, yeah. But the story of OJ, I think, is iconic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think okay, you can say what you want about the album, but the story of OJ <laughs> and a lot of people wouldn't agree because it goes over a lot of people's heads. heads. But that's that's the thing. That's people that don't point. people don't understand what he's saying, especially mm -hmm. with female. Like I ain't trying to. It's some females that I know, but. Yeah. Yeah. Or little kids, well, you got. I can't think of this. Yeah, I just want to hear bang, bang, bang yeah. shoot, shoot. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Pop, yeah. pop, perks. Mm -hmm. Like that's all I want to hear. Yeah. But when you got to hear a, a lyric that you can't even, the first time you gonna have to run it back. Please don't die over the neighborhood <laughs> that your mama renting. Take your drug money and buy the neighborhood. That's how you rent it. Man, that went it's, over ninety five percent of the exactly. population's head. And then he, he's talking about. What's happening in the world right now, mm -hmm. and how you should do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you I love I, mean? I love story because that's me. Like I love story of OJ. Mm -hmm. I love the guns and butter scene on Baby Boy. Mm -hmm. Like I'm big on that. I'm yeah. big on hearing words that saying yeah. we too attracted to the bullshit. Yeah. Let's get some shit that's gonna appreciate. You know what I'm saying? And even with Loso, even you know what I mean. It's so tape one, two, and three. You know what I mean? Perfect. That's a perfect segue because that was gonna that's be my just, next question. Yeah. Best. Soul tape. Three. Three? Uh, uh, nah, least, stay with that. Yeah, yeah three, 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 three. Young OG, man. Oh, the hope. 
<laughs> Young OG, The Hope, yeah. The Get Back. That was on yeah. three, right? Or was that two? The Get Back was on three. Three? Oh, man. Um, what's that joint? Um, sun's coming up. Uh, uh, what's that joint called? I forgot. Oh, yeah, look Sacrifice. That. Sacrifice. Yeah. Man. Oh uh, yeah. So with me, that was easy for you. So with me, slightly biased, I would say three as well. Just because mm-hmm. when it came out, you remember like the time three came out and just mm-hmm. the vibe and just listening to yeah. it. That was my first semester at Monroe. Yep. First it was semester, it was yeah. nice and snowy out, mm-hmm. and I'm just walking through the snow in my Thames listening to Soul mm-hmm. Tape Three. <laughs> and when that beat on the Hope drop, and uh, what was what was the one you said? Not the Hope, but the, the OG, Young OG. Young That's OG. The last year. The last year. <sighs> And then the one with, um, so the hope was the one with what, Kiss? Yeah, Kiss is on the hope, yeah. Young OG is, that's, that that had Guns and Butter at the end. Yeah, Guns and Butter at the end, yeah. yeah. And then what was the one with Jeezy? Fuck that shit, real niggas get my. Uh, um, What's that shit called? I uh, forgot, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, oh, man. Like- just, yo, the Soul Tape 3, man, just the time it came out and just mm. I rem- so much memories around it, great memories that it just Monroe went perfect days. with it. Yeah, Monroe <laughs> days. I felt like, yo, it's crazy. I always say I feel like Monroe days was some of the-, the best la- music, right? Yeah, that was like <laughs> the last true nah, best yeah, music, man. period. hmm Right? Yeah, and it's- 56 Nights came out, mm-hmm. Monroe days. 56 Nights. That was a vibe. And you just were fab. Like I said, he be, you know, yeah. he shouted out the crib. Man. Yeah. So he just was like, yeah. He, she be so weird for like you in the falls. She mm-hmm. like Niagara, man, fuck your Viagra. So like that's, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So man. that was personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Home, like, yeah. 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 So, um, <clears throat> yeah. so I say three as well, but, and like I said, it may be slightly biased on three. Mm-hmm. But two, two man. Two was the, yeah, yeah, Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Two was out of this world as well. Mm-hmm. I think three had more, three had fucking bangers. Two was maybe a little more smooth. Yeah, smooth. And one was original. All yeah, great. All great. Yeah. All great. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I agree. I, I think all three is just you know. Yeah. Yeah, like like you said with Griselda, yeah. all three of them is thirty three point mm-hmm. three three three. It yeah, makes yeah. the perfect. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying trifecta. Yeah, I hope he doesn't go with a fourth. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Not to take nah, nothing away from him and what he's got going on now. And not saying he can't do it. Yeah. But just those three, like you, let's keep it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. He did summertime showdown too though. Yeah, so which was, was hot. Yeah, it was straight. Which was perfect. See, I'm glad he did that and not tried to make that a soul tape for him. Yeah, nah. Cause that summertime joint, it was hot. Mm-hmm. That joint was mm-hmm. hot. I love the joint with him and uh Bug. Um, I love Cold Summer. Mm. Um, Cap with Dirk. That joint is hard too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But just yeah, Soul Tape Three was in a whole Another realm of its own. Like that joint don't need to be touched yeah. ever. Shout out to Soul Tape Three. Shout out to Fab. Yeah. Um and shit. So with with Fab, what I really like also with Fab and to throw another artist, New York artist, is Kiss. Mm. That whole Freddie and Jason thing. <sighs> they go crazy too. High school days, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was um I remember usually a lot of Fab mixtapes would come out Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And I was just like getting another present out of oh, the tree. Oh, man. <laughs> Who you telling, bro? Yeah, man. So he, like, another one just kind of just raised none of it. You know, you really just had mm-hmm. no idea who it was. But his voice and his flow was so but, original. It kind of just it, stuck with you. And then when you understand what they start to say, it's like, well, that's yeah, and, it, and his punchlines are crazy too. <laughs> his yeah. bar, Fab got bars. Yeah. Like his punchlines will have you thinking, like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> um, um, damn, what was I about to say? And when you said we was raised on Fab, yeah, literally, Fab, bro, Fab has since the big ass fitted to the yeah rapping like this yeah. with the big ass. You know what I'm saying? Pele Pele joints, yeah, fucking Pele. um, Superwoman, <laughs> with Lil Mo. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I, bro, I re- you, bro, we was raised. They just on- <laughs> bring back so many memories, man. Memories. It's so crazy. Now I see them. They old. And yeah, kids, yeah. Man. Like what? I, I remember. Um, so when that came out, because I remember it came out the same time with Peaches and Cream by One Twelve. So when and I say that to say it because it is when all those came out, I was living in Goldsboro, North Carolina, mm-hmm. and I was um I was going to a boys and girls club that had a jukebox. Mm-hmm. It had. The same three songs play all day, every day. Superwoman by Fab, <laughs> Peaches and Cream by 112, and It Wasn't Me by Shaggy. Mm. 
those three songs stayed playing. I mean, yo, mm-hmm. all day. Like that was like that brings so many great memories. But yeah, yeah Fab been at it for a minute uh, for since the nineties, man. Yeah. Mid nineties, ninety five, ninety four, ninety six. Yeah. That area. Breathe all that shit. <sighs> Into yeah. you. That's probably one of my favorite. That's yeah. just kind of like. I mean, it's commercial, but that's one of my like. Yeah. Even the joint he did vibe. with Lumity, that Uh Oh remix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh Oh. <laughs> that joint was hot too. Mm-hmm. Damn. Now we thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Fabin, man. He been around a minute, but it's, it's tough, man. Like, I know now we probably ain't got it, but back in the day, you just had X. Rest in peace, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, the locks you had mm-hmm. just. Joel's dip set. Mm-hmm. You just had, you know what I mean? All right, so let me ask you this. You mentioned Locks, you mentioned dip set. Let's throw Griselda, let's throw Wu Tang in the mix. The greatest group to come out of New York, and we're going to say state for Griselda's sake. The greatest group to come out of the state of New York, or we could say New York City and Griselda, or New York City and Buffalo. Greatest New York group ever. Mm. Rap group. Who you got? Oh, man. I mean, honestly, I really, I got, think I gotta go with Wu Tang. Wu, have just to. just because, have just to. because of to. the projects, the people who was inside the group. Yeah, and I, I do think the the locks is right on the tail. So we can do a top three. So we got Wu. You would say Wu and Locks. Wu, Locks. Mind you, we got Rough Riders. We got Dipset. We got G Unit. We got Griselda. And, that, and that's the thing. It's kind of like <laughs> I mean. It's hard, man. Yeah. But I would definitely say I would definitely say Wu Tang number one. Mm-hmm. You know, I would throw. You gotta throw the locks in there. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. You had, me personally, you got to. And then, just just my you know coming up air, and I'm gonna do it. I'm going on a limb. I'm gonna say you know Dipset. Dipset. You know, it, it just just like I said to go off who was in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and what they did after the impact that Dipset had yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. On I mean, the culture, the culture yeah. of New York. Yeah. Especially so, in that time, mm-hmm. they got. It. I think the impact that Dipset had on the culture was similar to the one that like Migos had. Excuse mm-hmm. me, on the culture around No Label Two and Culture album days. You know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. impact. Yeah, I would say yeah. Dipset's one, impact was ridiculous. One of the things I can say though Shit. about New York raps mm-hmm. and down south raps, just to get a little bit off topic, is man that. Atlanta, man, they just, they ain't really no crazy beef with each other. Everybody mm. want to see everybody eat New York. Yeah. That ain't happening. Nah. It's not no way in God's green earth. I mean, you got you could just look at the beef back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, 50 with, yeah. You know, 50 beef with 50 with John. 50 beef with everybody. Everyone from New York. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> but New one York person is, I forgot, yeah. Miami, cut you off. One New person York. I forgot about is definitely in my top five. Jay Z and Nas. It was always some yeah. type of beef. Yeah, shit. You know what I mean? Fox and Kim. Fox and Kim. But Atlanta ain't, you know what I mean? And I, it's, that's why I feel like to get the regime back, man, they going to have to, everybody got to come together. Mm. You know, and it's so crazy right now. What we ain't really got, and may he rest in peace, one of my favorite rappers to this day still is, you know what I mean, Pop Smoke, but. We, I don't feel like we got nobody to really put us over the top. I mean, you got a boogie, you know, you got a and you know, ASAP do his kind of little own thing. Nikki yeah, kind of like, yeah. Nikki kind of in the back now. Yeah. She ain't really doing too much, but yeah. And Bug, I mean, Bug's an artist. He's so an we artist. can't carry the whole. We yeah. can't carry the rap game yeah. as well. And you know what? That you mentioned it, I'm, I was kind of surprised. I don't know if it has anything to do with his legal situation, but I was kind of surprised Bobby ain't come crazy. It's, it's kind of like. It's kind of like he's so. I'm just. I just got out, man. Yeah. Like it's, it's so his last. I feel like his the last thing kind of on his mind is music. Mm. I've been down. Yeah, for, that's that's. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, oh, we want music. We want music. Roddy be putting out music, but yeah. it's it's not with it. When we yeah, was back yeah, in Monroe, yeah. that's that's all we was oh, bumping man. in the locker room. And see, that's the see. Like, I always to kind of rewind just a little bit before we get back on track. Mm-hmm. I would say like Monroe was like some of the last. <sighs> Because, yo, you got to think about it. 
some of the hottest music, the latest, the, the, some of the last hottest music that came from New York was while we was at Monroe. Mm-hmm. So you, we was, we was, we had niggas on our team, on our dorms, on our circle from the same hood as as Bobby and Bobby, Rowdy. Right, yep. It's from the same hood as Cass. Exactly. No young MA. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? No boogie. Like right. it was cool. That was the craziest part about that era and exactly. that time. Exactly. Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap Fetty was had hot. an era. Hey, it definitely did. You have to give him he his probably He definitely did. Uh, uh, Giles, who was on here as well, uh-huh. from Patterson. Yep. Right next to, oh, from, <laughs> from Pasek, Fetty Wap's from Patterson. Yeah. And he told me about Fetty Wap before he blew up. Yeah. So that was crazy. Like, the, I'm so grateful that we got to witness that last great era of music, but we mm-hmm. was right there as well. Yeah, I just feel like we they kind of just waiting for, like, a little savior, man. Yeah, we're going to see what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, But kind of to get back on track, how you mentioned with that, I never thought about this, how Atlanta, because you never hear about Atlanta rappers really having, at least not on the level of New York. But I think that's like more so, that goes into, you know, it it really goes into the Southern hospitality, Northern hostility thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, just Northerners in general, you know what I'm saying? And this is from, this is coming from someone who is a Northerner, me and you both, Mm -hmm. who moved to the South, moved down here in Charlotte. So we really can see and say that, you know, Northerners, we always walk around for one, like we got something to prove. Yeah. I think, you know, if you, you know, if you tell someone where you're from up north, or I'm from Philly, D.C., Baltimore, New York, Boston, mm-hmm. whatever, you kind of feel like you have to uphold to a certain standard in a negative way being from yeah. here. You got something to prove mm-hmm. to show that you're from this place, especially, you know, uh, you know, New York and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, also, I mean, this kind of doesn't have anything to do with it, but people in a rush. Up north, if it's like everyone's in a rush coming out here, bro, it's very calm, like mm-hmm. no one's in a rush. But, um, also now it, the southern hospitality is real. Me really yeah. living on my really own is. in the south for the first time, I'm like, it kind of threw me off at first. <laughs> and it's so crazy that you say that when I came down here, and even still, this day to this day, I, people be like, You just so unapproachable, mm-hmm. like when I because that's just, I mean, that's just how you yeah. was raised, like, yeah, you go, you just get what you yeah. gotta get, but no, everybody you come down, they want to say hi, how you doing, yeah, like, oh, yeah, it goes on, like, yeah, so it's like, I just feel like that's just kind of how they was raised, and you know, it's not wrong with that, I kind of like it, yeah. I'm kind of getting acquainted to it now, yeah. I try it's, to it's not, you don't just automatically nah. open up because we just not, we always have nah. our guards up, and it's crazy yeah. you said that, that made me realize something. Um, it's this girl out here I'm cool with. And she like says like, for one, I know I'm not a mean person because she's the first person I ever heard tell me that I'm mean. Mm. But then she was like, okay, maybe not mean, but you're very hard to figure out. Yeah, I get that And I'm that trying to figure too. out what she, what she means by that. But now I'm realizing it by you saying that. Just in us, just us not being raised in Southern hospitality, you have a natural guard up. Mm-hmm. Because no it's people will take advantage of it. Exactly, just, that's just how it is. And and, and it's kind of like that's just what we surrounded by. Yeah. Everybody kind of like is. You might got a couple people, but everybody down here is open arm. Like yeah. you come down here, they let you in your house. Yeah, birthday, and it's like what? Like just not used. You know to what it. I mean, we just right. not used to it. But they like it. You know, yeah. they kind of like it's different because yeah, you know I mean yeah. it's different. They not used to it, mm-hmm. so it's kind of oh, like. Yeah. So we're we're getting equated, y'all. Just give yeah, us some time. It's kind of it's, 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 it's not out of spite at all. <laughs> it's just we were literally d- developed in an area, in an environment, to where mm-hmm. you have to have some type of guard up, yeah. or people will take fact. advantage. People will, you know, what I'm saying, jip you or yeah. whatnot. So we yeah, we getting that. Mm-hmm. Um, also, us being in the south, I think everywhere is like this now. But it really started in the south of shit opening back up. Do you think we're on point as far as everything being open as it is now? Restrictions being, you know, uplifted and whatnot. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's time. Like yeah. it was such a tough year from the cra- that by far the craziest year I've ever seen. And even talking to people older than me, my mom, my grandparents, craziest stuff they ever seen. Yeah, you know. So it's like I'm just so happy that the normalcy is coming back. Mm-hmm. The stuff is getting back to normal. You me too. Live your life. You know, whether you pro vaccinated or anti vaccination. Yeah, I mean, whatever floats your boat, but. Yeah. So just to see it open back up, it's yeah, it's a good feeling. Breath of fresh air. It kind of feels like, uh, it in a way, hypothetically that it hypothetically, yeah, hypothetically that COVID kind of vanished in a way because no one talks about it as That's much. I get started on that, right? Man. So it's weird. Like I'm, I'm saying that because it's weird because no one talks about it as much. For one, I don't, I don't watch the news. 
So mm-hmm. I don't know. I know they still show the numbers. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if it's rising or falling or whatnot. It's it's slowly disappearing. Slowly out of nowhere. It's weird, man. Slowly it's weird. But I mean, I guess they I guess they figured, you know, since it's summertime, it's hot out, so it's very unlikely for certain, you know, diseases money, to survive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's like listen, we missed out last summer, man. We do this to yeah. Summer? Yeah. Yeah. We need that. Yeah. Yeah, we need yeah, so we need <laughs> All the, that. I'm gonna say this. Go to the movie theaters. We need this AMC stock to take off. Oh yeah. You know what I'm oh yeah. We need this joint to hit a hundred. You know what I mean? It's, it's, <laughs> it's got to take off. Yeah, man. we need we need this joint to go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but listen, man, that's all the time that we got for now. Champagne Kilo, the legend, the living legend. <laughs> I appreciate you so much for appreciate pulling up, you, man. man. You know what I'm saying? We shooting live from Charlotte. Definitely more to come. And you trying to get you know what I'm saying a, a podcast popping off of your own too, for right? Real. I'm a guy. Yeah, I mean, I I'm trying to get like you, man. You 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 have a you, you're natural, mm-hmm. I'm, and I don't tell everyone that. Mm-hmm. I've had episodes, and I'm not saying I'm the best because I've had episodes where I was completely off. Mm-hmm. But just your natural flow and response, and you know what I'm saying way to guide, because it's not just you just sit in front of a and do this. I tell people all the time, my first three episodes, I was drunk as shit because I was nervous because I never done this before. I consider myself an introvert, but I'm outspoken. I have no problem talking in crowds or anything like that. Yeah. So like. For me to just not do it, or not have done it at first, I was nervous as shit, and I don't right. think I was that good. And I'm, it's so crazy that you say that because I'm a huge introvert. Like mm-hmm. I don't talk, I don't like people. Like I, mm-hmm. it ain't like I don't like people, but like you said, it's kind of mm-hmm. just my demeanor. Like yeah. I ain't the type of person to. I'm, to I'm, to, I'm starting to peep. I think some of the best podcasters are introverts. Yeah, I, I just so. like to get weird. on, talk, get on the mic, and really talk. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. Let's talk about what's really going on, man. You're, you're a natural, bro. <laughs> Appreciate like, that. Like, this, is this your first podcast you've Ever. done? Ever. You're a, na- you're a yeah. natural, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to the collabs, of course. Yes, sir. Um, but listen, man, for everybody that's tuned in, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to your respective podcast platform, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, we're on it all. I truly appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure that you go ahead and click like and subscribe, rate, all that. But most importantly, subscribe so that you're kept up to date on every latest episode. Until the next episode, this is Day by Day Podcast. I'm your host, Day Day, and I'm tuning out. Peace. Peace.